Hello, Kyle Z here with In Session Audio. If you've been using Contact for a while, then chances are that you have a library that has some sort of rhythm grid used in conjunction with an arpeggiator, or to rhythmically modify some other parameter like pitch, volume, pan, or filter cutoff. And if you don't, you can load the factory arpeggiator script to any contact instrument, as we will do here. Out of the box, if you hold a note, the rhythm table will play each note at the same velocity. But with some quick mousing around, you can make this a bit more interesting. But depending on the size of the grid, it can be tedious to get the rhythm the way you want. This one is on the small side. So here are a few steps that will help you work a bit more quickly and with greater accuracy. First off, determine how many steps you really need. If all you need is a four step pattern to repeat, change the table size to four steps. Secondly, if you need to turn a step off, hold control or command and then click on it to send it to zero. This is nice because if you have a lot of steps close together, it's easy to accidentally mouse over an adjacent step and modify it in the process. You can also use this command to clear an entire grid. Just hold Ctrl or Command and then drag your mouse across the table. Third, if you want to create consistent rise and fall patterns, it can be quite difficult to achieve with any accuracy, particularly when the grid has a lot of steps. In these cases, you can right click and drag your mouse to create a guideline by which you can draw consistent rise and fall patterns. Our Fluid Harmonics library has the ability to run 15 rhythm grids simultaneously, all of which can respond to the mouse and key commands I just mentioned. With so many grids, we decided to build in a ton of extra functionality so they can be modified quickly. We feature pattern buttons, shift left and right, expand and compress, randomize, reverse, and inverse. And just about every button has a dual, triple, or quadruple function when clicked on while holding a modifier key like Control or Command, Shift, Alt, or combinations thereof. 